Howdy, 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 everyone. Hope you are a fantastic, fantastic day. Happy Veterans Day to all you veterans out there. We are currently at McAllister, McCall oh McAllister's, where we are having a sandwich. McAllister's doesn't have anything free for veterans, uh, but next door is a Krispy Kreme, and Krispy Kreme does have stuff free for, free for veterans. So we're gonna stop over there, grab a Krispy Kreme donut, free for Veterans Day, and then today's special thing that we're doing is we're going to Heroes Moral Park in Kyle, Texas, where they have a park that's dedicated to first responders and uh, military individuals. So uh, we're gonna go over there and pay our respects today. Happy Veterans Day to everyone out here. You know we appreciate you and we love you. And uh, let's get our food, which I got a buffalo chicken sandwich and some potato salad. Gabby, you got a Caesar salad, Caesar salad. and a sa side of mac and cheese. Caesar salad and a side of mac and cheese and teenies. What did you get? I got a sandwich and a soup. Sandwich and a soup. What kind of sandwich? Yep, sandwich she don't even know. She just eat whatever. Yep. So we have uh, quite a few events coming up here in the next couple weeks. We are heading to Florida for Thanksgiving, where we are going to be spending Thanksgiving at Disney World. And we might be doing some other things there too. I have yet to decide. I don't think it'll just be Disney World this time. We might go uh, explore some of the other spots that we have there. Uh, we are driving over and we're bringing a beautiful Coco with us and Penny and um, Tina's Bammies will both be there too. So that'll be very exciting. And, um, and then at Christmas time, we're actually going back to Disney again. So we have two Disney trips coming up. Uh, we have a trip to Alaska coming up next year. Um, we know we're going to be doing something big for uh, the spring break. I think Oregon maybe. And here's our food. And look here, I got a nice buffalo chicken sandwich. Lots of sandwich there. Tina got a, a Reuben along with a broccoli and cheese and a pickle. And Gabby got a delicious Caesar salad. And there is her mac and cheese. We love McAllister's because they have delicious iced tea here. Some of the best. So I'm pretty full, but the uh, potato salad was absolutely delicious. Had tons of paprika in it. Really, really uh, flavorful. A little sweet, um, very good. My sandwich, you can see it has a lot of, of uh, buffalo sauce in it, tomato, lettuce, chicken on a nice roll, which is very fresh. It's a very good sandwich. And the salad that Gabby got is absolutely enormous, but it was, she said it was good, and then her mac and cheese was good. Thank you. All right, that was a very good lunch. Now we're headed over to Heroes Park. We're actually in San Marcos right now. This is probably the nicest area as far as the like a business district here. We got a McAllister's here. We got a Chai Lantro opening up here soon. We got an Evo Entertainment. We got a Hop Daddy. There's apartments here. Kind of a neat, neat little area. I'm looking at Krispy Kreme. What can I get for you? How do you guys have a? Uh, veterans deal going on today or, or free donut yes, sir. you get a free glazed donut and then you get your choice of either a hot coffee or a nice coffee okay cool um i'll take that deal and i'll take a iced coffee yes sir what else can i get for you you can see we got two glazed donuts we pretty much gave us all the donuts for free uh pretty much got everything for free but except the coffee but all of this food two coffees three donuts cost six dollars Tina got the pumpkin spice cake coffee or donut, and Gabby and I got the glazed donuts. It's going to be delicious. It looks like they had a uh, Veterans Day parade here in San Marcos at 10 a.m. this morning. It was downtown here. If I had known it, I would have come down here and uh, celebrated. We are in San Marcos, which is the home of Texas State University, and Tina's going to tell me what that red building is. What's the red building, Tina? You don't know. The dance room. That's the theater building for Texas State. All right, here we go, y'all. We are at Heroes Memorial Park here in Kyle, Texas. The road over there is, that road right there is 1626. And uh, yeah, this park is dedicated to first responders and family members, military heroes, anyone that has served this great nation of ours. You see our flag there is flying at half staff. I'm not quite sure why it's flying at half staff. Let's see why it's flying at half staff. 
We're gonna do one big loop around here. You can see they have a, a little lake here, little pond. So we found out that the flag is actually not supposed to be half staff today, which is interesting. So somebody made a boo-boo. Here we go. A little information about the park. It's dedicated to Kyle and Hayes County heroes and their families. Each year on September 11th at 9.37 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, sunlight passes through the pentagon-shaped opening on the back of this panel. The 9-11 Memorial Emblem is designed by David Parentu in the payment below. This is the moment American Airlines Flight 77 crashed into the western facade of the Pentagon in Washington, Pentagon Building in Washington, D.C. on September 11, 2001. So this is the uh, this is the Performing Arts Center for Hayes CISD School District. And then over here, they're actually building a whole like uh, business district slash apartments, all kinds of neat things that are coming in to Kyle, Texas. And here you can see the front of the uh, pond lake area here. And then across the street over there, we have Austin Community College. It's their Hayes County District, that brown building across the street. This is kind of cool here. We got a little waterfall. I like that. You can actually get down there, get down up into that area there. When we come back around, you see the water flowing here. That's really cool. Now we're going to enter the Memorial Garden area where we're going to see. Oh, they got a actual water all over here too that's kind of cool and here we got uh centers of Ser service and sacrifice this is the uh, memorial garden area here you can see we saluting all of our armed services we got the uh, national guard always ready always there there's the u.s army 1775 that's really cool i was a member of the army and then we have the united states marine corps Semper, Semper Fi, always faithful. U.S. Coast Guard, 1790. U.S. Navy, traces its origins to the creation of the Continental Navy in 1775. United States Air Force, 1947 and then we got Space Force that's really cool established in 2019 and now we're with our army or with our firefighters law enforcement emergency dispatch emergency medical services all from Kyle Texas we got ensuring and protecting freedom at home the human instinct is to run from danger. Fortunately, there are some willing to run toward it. Our nation's first responders demonstrate this willingness every day. When danger lurks or tragedy, tragedy strikes, law enforcement officers, emergency medical teams, and 9-11 dispatched heed our calls. Working together, these dedicated professionals selflessly and tirelessly protect our lives, property, and freedoms, often at their own risk with little recognition. Here is a big map of Heroes Memorial Park. You can see we are here we have the actual memorial garden we got an honor wall we got a meadow gallery Some different little areas here heroes crossing family garden peace garden web garden little places where you can contemplate things and then we have the united states flag hill and the bill of rights that's really cool look at this that's really cool Oh wow, there's something inside there. Let freedom ring. Alrighty, we got something here under the flag. This is kind of cool. Time capsule. Oh, nah, cool. Oh, it's that, okay. Buried 9-11, 2022 to be open. 9-11, 2121. And then you turn. It's like incredibly peaceful out here. This bridge that has water running down it is really cool. Yes. And then Tina's, Tina's talking to the ducks out there. He's taking a duck bath. Oh, oh look at him. He is taking a duck bath. Oh, 
no, come back up, buddy. <laughs> the yeah. Oh, there he is. Yay, he made it. <laughs> he's going down again. Oh, no. He looks like he's hunting for food in there. Yeah. Alrighty, we're going to walk across the bridge now. Over the little lake here. It's really peaceful out here, really calm. Really good place to contemplate. Thank our soldiers for all they do for us. Keeping us free, keeping us safe. Protecting our way of life. Up here we have a POW MIA flag. We have a uh, POW MIA table. The tradition of setting the table to honor prisoners of war and soldiers missing in action began at the end of Vietnam War. Every element of the table has special meaning for service members, veterans, and families. The round table shows concern for our missing and fallen, fallen never ends. Missing chair depicts the unknown fate of those who can't be here today. White tablecloth represents the pure intentions of service members answering our country's call to arms. The Bible represents the spiritual strength or faith in a higher power as well as a service member's pledge to our country. The red rose symbolizes bloodshed and sacrifice and reminds us of families and loved ones left behind. The flag suggests burial flag that drapes the casket and accompanies the urn of the deceased service member. Silence of the Reverend reminds us of the bitter fate of the missing and fallen. The pinch of salt represents the tears of families longing for answers after decades of uncertainty. Inverted glass reminds us of the comrades who can't join us in the festivities and celebrations. And the lit candle, the lit candle symbolizes a light of everlasting hope for a reunion of those still missing. You can see here we have a uh, just a table where you can sit, reminisce, think. Kind of cool. And then this path here takes us to the family garden. There's an unexpressible sense of pride in knowing your loved one is willing to put their life on the line for the community. You can see there's a whole huge trail here. It goes all the way around the park. Have little sitting benches here for you. I really like this park. Let's see what this is over here. Well, we have a United States flag here. There's water in there. That's kind of cool. I'm not quite sure what it's supposed to represent, but I do like it. You can see the very front. Take two. You can see the very front of the uh, memorial area over there for our heroes where liberty dwells there is my country they even provide you with little poop bags for your dogs if you bring your dogs take them for a walk out here which would be a great place to take a, a dog for a walk uh, they, you don't even have to bring your own poop bags so there you have it y'all uh, what a great little area here to remember our 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 veterans and all they have sacrificed for us um, if you want a place to come and just think and contemplate things, this is a, uh, a really good place to do that here in Kyle, Texas. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. You know we love you guys. Happy Veterans Day, everyone. We'll see you next time.